Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple and it's time for Saturday with Stacy, YouTube number 202. Now this is a stamping YouTube and if you're an expert stamper, well, maybe I might show you some things that you had forgotten about or didn't know. If you've never stamped before, well, this is a perfect YouTube for you because I'm going to go over some of the some of the do's for stamping and hopefully show you some product that is going to knock your socks off. We have got product in from Hampton Arts and I almost want to say it's a flash sale because truly the value is amazing. We have eight stamp sets so we did a buy one get seven free. I know that sounds crazy. It really does sound crazy but that is the deal that we're able to offer you. Now before I get there, because I, I am going to show you the stamps ahead of time before I do the YouTube. Usually I wait until after to show you the product, but because this is at that type of price, if you need to pause me <laughs> to go order them, then pause me. I just want to make sure I'm not blinking because every time somebody pauses somebody, they're always mid blink. <laughs> So I am going to I'm going to show you those just in case and let me tell you the bundle is valued at about $124 retail and your price is $12.99 and we're not putting any exclusions on shipping meaning if you order over $50 even with the bundle you're still going to get your free shipping we're not putting any exclusions you don't have to pay shipping on each and every you know bundle so hopefully you're going to love 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 it and then there's a bonus gift that goes with it so I'm gonna be playing with clean color today I'm gonna to be playing with Kaiser craft gel pins I'm gonna be playing with memento ink I'm gonna be playing with Tim Holtz ink and again hopefully you'll take something away from this and if not then we've just shared a really good hour and a little bit more perhaps together because it is Saturday with Stacy and 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 we do spend our Saturdays together don't we <laughs> and happy Mother's Day to all of those mothers out there happy Mother's Day to all of those women men grandparents aunts uncles whomever represents the mom in that family well happy 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 day to you because sometimes Sometimes dad is mom. <laughs> sometimes, you know, dad takes the place of both mom and dad. And sometimes it's grandma or grandpa who takes that place. And sometimes it's auntie or uncle or so whoever, whoever takes that responsibility on of being that caregiver to our future, our children. Well, happy day for you. Woohoo. Okay. So first things first, let's talk winner, winner, chicken dinner, because I have two winner, winner, chicken dinners from the last YouTube, which was the Couture Creations Ultimate Crafts, the, the foil machine. And I will let you know that Scrapbooking Made Simple has locked up the entire inventory for the United States right now. So if you saw it on HSN, it will be back on HSN a little bit later this year. Other than the order going to HSN, everything's coming to us to fill your orders. So I'm very, very excited about that. And then I have some wonderful news to bring you about that product, but I can't do it just yet. I know that's terrible of me, isn't it? I shouldn't do that. So just forget I ever said that. Okay, let's talk winner, winner, chicken dinner. We'll, we'll distract you by saying squirrel. <laughs> Hopefully by saying winner, you will have, you, we will have moved on. Okay, so we also had that Tonic Studios bundle for National Scrapbooking Day, which again was an amazing deal. It was $29.99, it was $115 worth of dies and stamps, and phenomenal pricing, phenomenal pricing. So I do have to give a big thank you to Couture Creations and, and Ultimate Crafts for the foil machine and all of the wonderful products that we were able to bring to you at the price that matched HSN. <laughs> that was a big sticking point for me. If I can't do it, even though I'm not as big, if I can't do it for that price or better, I want to do it for that price for our customers. They deserve the same thing. They deserve the same deal. So, so thank you to Ultimate Crafts and thank you to Couture Creations. They're the same company. Thank you to 
Tonic Studios for bringing us that phenomenal bundle. Thank you to Hot Off the Press and Paulette who flew here from Oregon to spend the day with us for National Scrapbooking Day and hosted an amazing, amazing free make and take. And then of course Sizzix was here who also hosted an amazing free make and take. We had Alexis and Mona. Mona was my Vanna White of the day. She pulled all the winner winner chicken dinners out. So to everybody who helped, all the manufacturers who helped support National Scrapbooking Day here, thank you very much. Hopefully you see this YouTube and you know that I mean it from my heart. Okay, winner winner chicken dinner. These two winners have won that bundle from Tonic Studios. Wahoo Kachu. Are you ready to hear if it's you? Well, if you're Erica Caratini? Caratini. I'm going with Erica Caratini. Congratulations, Erica. <laughs> You've got yourself that wonderful dye bundle from Tonic Studios. And if you already bought one, we'll give this one away as a gift because these were a one and done. When we're sold out of them, when they're sold out, they're gone. Oh my gosh. But you're not alone. Who else is with you? Heather Chorus. C-O-R-U-S. Heather Chorus, congratulations, Heather. You two are a winner, winner, chicken dinner here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. You've won the same bundle. Now, how do you girls claim your prizes? Well, it's easy. Go to scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Look for the link that says winner, winner, chicken dinner. Click it, follow the directions, and then just as soon as possible, we'll get you your prizes out. Just know prizes are sent as time permits. So we send, we try to send prizes out every single day. So just as soon as we get to your, your prize, we will, you'll find happy mail. We'll get it out to you and you'll find happy mail in your mailbox, all right? From Scrapbooking Made Simple. Yay! Now, today's YouTube, again, it's a stamping YouTube, so no die cutting in this. There's some do's and don'ts of stamping. I'm gonna play with some some products from, I'm gonna play with the Zig Clean Color, I'm gonna play with the Kaiser Craft Gel Pins. I am going to show you the bundle first so that if it's something that you want for $12.99, if you have friends who, who want to craft, if you have friends who have never crafted before and you want to give them an amazing value, if you are a teacher, a teacher, these stamps are so easy to use and they're so fun to color. The kids, you can stamp them and the kids can color them because for $12.99, you can actually afford to own a set. I know teachers don't get paid nearly enough. They don't. They have our kids quite often more than, than, than parents do. They're, they're, they, they do such a service to our children and they can inspire our children in ways that sometimes mom and dad can't. So. So if you're a teacher and you want to have arts and crafts in your room and there's been budget cuts and, and, and it's just not available, at least this way for $12.99, you can bring crafting to your kids at a price that isn't going to cost you an arm and a leg. And I'm so sorry that you have to pay for them at all. I think that the school should give you a budget to go out and spend something reasonable because I know how many of you actually pull from your own pockets to, um, to, to have things for your class. So if, if you're a teacher, if you're um, teaching at a church or a senior center, again, the value is here. This is not the time to hem and haw. You really do want these because you're going to be able to bring crafting to more people. And all it takes is some paper, some paper and ink pad. And if you've got colored pencils or colored pens or whatever oh my gosh let them go to town and have fun okay that's it i should get going i need to show you what's i could talk forever well you probably know that already <laughs> what am i saying we're friends you already know i could talk forever <laughs> okay i'm gonna tilt on down happy mother's day to everybody who plays any part of that kind of role and way to go to our teachers okay i'm gonna tilt on down and show you the bundle are we ready down we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. I accidentally tilted the camera a little bit. And I'm gonna zoom on in. I feel like I'm crooked. Don't know why I'm crooked. Maybe. Ah, okay. Well, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. 
and tilt down just a little bit more. And, oh, now I see now too much. Someday I'm going to figure out how to use a camera properly. Okay, I'm just going to stop now. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, these sets are called Color Me, and they are $12.99 each, and you get several main stamps, but then you get these darling little fun stamps to go with them, and most of the, I think all of them have some sort of sentiment. This one is, Life With You Is Good. So, you're going to buy this for $12.99. But you're going to get this one for free. And look at it, it goes that way. Oh, so cute, aren't they? Look at how cute, that's the make and take. And this one says, I'm so grateful and with heartfelt thanks. So you get sentiments with each one of them. For your $12.99, you're getting, you're getting this one for free. You're getting this one for free with the butterflies, two larger stamp sets a whole bunch of little accent stamps to play with, beautiful, and dream, and live, love, and live, laugh, love are the sentiments here. But you still just paid one $12.99. This one is free. Then we have the birdies. Again, two larger stamps. And then we have sentiments. Uh, let's see. It says, with much love, for you, good times, just a little note to say, thinking of you and love you. All of that, all of that. And you still only paid $12.99. You've, you've, so far, that's all you're out. How cute is that? Darling, isn't it? I put some fairies with this one. Just so cute. And this one's got, you're an amazing, what does it say? You are amazing, so kind, beautiful, uh, blooming marvelous. <laughs> That's cute. So there's eight stamp sets in the collection. Here you've got one jumbo size stamp set. And then the little accents. And this one's got wish you were here. Good. What is it? Good day, sunshine, and you make me smile. Gosh, if it said you made my heart happy, I think I would have just. Ah! <laughs> and all the little accents. Can't you see kids coloring that? I mean, if you've got somebody who's having a bad day and, and you, you, you stamp this for them, that's just gonna make their heart happy. Here we've got happy birthday is the sentiment on this one. And again, we haven't, we're still at the $12.99. We've got a couple here. And the sentiments on this one are thinking of you with love, have a great day, and best wishes. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight sets and your price is $12.99 not each for all of them all eight sets $12.99 and then I said I said I felt like an infomercial but wait there's more because there is <laughs> we've also got included in the bundle let's see if I can open these we have got 10 pack or 10 spools of adhesive ribbon so you've got You've got little adhesive ribbon, and on the back of this ribbon, there's uh, tape, adhesive tape, ready to go. All you have to do is pull it off and press it down. And you've got 10 different spools. This is the freebie item. This is the buy the eight sets of stamps for $12.99, and we're gonna give you 10 rolls of adhesive ribbon for free. So now you're looking at the 10 rolls of adhesive ribbon plus the eight stamp sets for $12.99, which is why if you need to pause me, this is a good time to do it to go place your order because then we're gonna come back and we're actually gonna play with these stamps. And I wanna show you some things to do and maybe some things not to do and hopefully 
um, broaden your horizons with stamping. And if you have never ever stamped before, this is an amazing value because this gives you so many different options for about the price of one set. Well, it is the price of one set. It's actually less than the price of one set when you include the ribbon. All right, so I'm gonna put these aside for right now and I'm gonna show you what the make and take is going on downstairs right now and everybody gets to do a different color. I don't have too many samples to show you today, but everybody gets to do a different color. We did this with Kaiser Craft gel pins and one of the stamps in the stamp set. I've got it in about six different colors to show you because of National Scrapbooking Day, we kind of fell behind in samples, but Yvette cranked these out as fast as she possibly could. So we've got this darling card going on right now. So if you're in sunny California, come see us on a Saturday. We make and take, it's so much fun. It doesn't cost anything. You don't have to bring a thing with you. Not scissors, not tweezers, not adhesive, not paper. You don't pay for any of the supplies. You get to try it and see if it's something you like. Totally free, no expectations at all. We just wanna see your smiling face and their snacks. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna put that one aside. And I think first things first, I'm gonna to talk to you about the stamp sets. So they come on a liner like this. And the liner's colored, kind of give you an idea of what you can do with them. And then you peel it off, and there's your stamp, ready to go. What are you gonna put that stamp on? You're gonna put it on an acrylic block. An acrylic block. And the way stamps work, clear stamps or cling stamps, is that you can take it off and peel it on and put it on and peel it off and put it on and peel it off. So you can use it again and again and again. It doesn't stay on your craft, on your, um, on your stamp block forever. When you're done with it, you just put it right back on your liner and put it away. Okay, so they're pretty easy, pretty easy to use and they last you a lifetime. The thing about these stamps though, is I wanna make you aware. Sometimes the liner, well it's not just these, we've had it happen with Ellison and a few other, a few other companies. Sometimes the liner is really, really sticky to the stamp. I mean, it's really hard to pull the stamp off. These two are just, they, it just, you're trying and you're trying and you're trying, but it's not coming off. That happens. Sometimes that happens from the heat, from when they've been put together and storage. Don't worry. Don't try to force the peel. Don't. Just go put this in some warm water. Just drop the whole thing in some warm water. And slowly but surely, you will be able to peel them off without any problem. Once you get them off the first time, you never have that problem again. Then they just come on and off and on and off and on and off but all you need is some warm water. And that holds true with anybody's stamps. Um, if you've got somebody else, another manufacturer, and man, it's so hard to peel that thing off because you, you don't wanna tear the stamp. You don't wanna tear the stamp. Just go put it in some hot water, let it sit there for a few minutes, and then eventually you can start working this right off. And once it's done, once it's come off the first time, it's going to come off every time. You don't ever have to do that again. So. I don't want you to tear the stamps. And we've had that happen where we had some Ellison stamps and it was very hard to get them off and they were very sticky. Some warm water, even if you wanna put a little bit of Dawn dishwashing detergent or palm olive in there, just to soapy it up a little bit. If you clean your stamps, that's a great way to clean your stamps with the same warm water and some dishwashing detergent. Stamps are hardy. They're going to be okay, I promise you. So I have pulled my my stamp and I have put it on my block. Now I'm using the Do Crafts Creativity Essentials blocks and you guys have loved these, oh my gosh. So I brought these in a little while ago because I love the price point and because a lot of our customers had problems with the Tim Holtz grid blocks. I love the Tim Holtz grid blocks, but they're really thin. And some of our customers were having trouble holding them because they were so thin. But I don't like blocks that are really thick. Some blocks out there are very, very thick because I need to feel 
how hard I'm pressing down. And this seemed to be a very happy medium. And then the price was Rockstar. The whole thing is $12.50, which is amazing. It would seem I'm the only one in the United States that has these at this point. <laughs> so, I mean, we know companies that sell this one block, this large one for $12.50. If you're a beginning stamper, well, even if you're an experienced stamper, this has got all the grids on it. It's beautiful. They give you the nice sizes so that you'll be able to use it with just about everything. And all of the stamps that we have today will work beautifully on these. Absolutely. So $12.50 and $12.99. And my goodness gracious, you have got a rock star gift for somebody. That's an amazing Christmas gift. Amazing. So love the blocks and that's what I'm using today. So I have taken my stamp and put it right on my block and I'm ready to start inking. Now I've got myself some 100 pound paper. This is simply defined 100 pound paper so it's my paper and there's a couple different ways to stamp. I'm going to show you because this is a little bit larger and some people have trouble stamping a little bit larger. There's a lot of detail to this stamp. Let me show you one when it's all stamped out. There it is when it's all stamped out. Really cute, huh? But there is a lot of detail to this stamp. So some of our customers have a little bit of trouble getting enough pressure in all the right places because you don't want to do chest compressions. That's not going to help. That's going to, I'm going to show you what that's going to do actually. So I'm going to ink it up and I am using my Memento ink. When I ink up a stamp, I hold it in my hand, stamp facing me, and I ink like this. I do not ink like that. I ink like this so I can see where I'm going, make sure I've got the whole stamp covered. Looks good to me. And then depending upon how big my stamp is, depending upon how big my stamp is, I will either press it down and give good all over pressure or I will place it upright. Now I'm on a gush pad. This is a gush pad. If you're stamping, you need to have a gush pad, whether it be mine or Doris's. This is half of the size of my gush pad. It's actually eight and a half by 11 and it retails for $1.99 so, and we just cut it in half. So a gush pad allows everything to sink in a little bit and that way you make better contact with your paper and your stamp regardless if you're doing it the way I'm doing it right now which is putting my paper right on top and then giving a nice rub. Just giving it a gentle back massage. I'm not pressing down too hard. I want to make sure that I get the whole stamped image. but it allows you to press and it gushes in. That way you're getting the best contact you can with your paper and your stamp. Ta-da! So if you have trouble with larger images, because let me see if I can stamp off, let me see. So, we, I know people who will ink it up and they're doing great and they put it down and I'm not going to put even pressure. I'm going to try not to put even pressure. <laughs> so they, or maybe they're doing chest compressions and they skip this whole area up here. And let's see. Oh yeah. Not so good. So if you find that this is what your stamping is looking like, you're not getting enough pressure down. It usually happens with background stamps, which is what this is, a larger stamp. That's when this normally happens. It's not that it's a bad stamp and it's not that you're a bad stamper. It's that you just need to flip it because you don't have enough pressure and you're not getting enough even pressure all over to make a really good stamped image. Just reverse what you're doing. Ink up your stamp. And then remember, you're working with paper. It's just paper. If you don't get it right, try again. So I'm going to put it down. Give nice all over. Just give it a nice little back rub. 
just making sure I've hit everywhere. And ta-da! I gotta see which way he goes up. There we go. Ta-da! Perfect every time. However you stamp with larger stamps, if you're able to do it face down, like a typical stamping you would, then great. But if not, just make it easy on yourself. Don't get frustrated. It's not, it's not, it's not worth it. You can do this. Flip your stamp over, ink it, put your paper down, and give a nice back massage. And that's all you have to do, and you will get really lovely stamping results. Promise you. Just keep it on the gush pad, because as you push down, it, it gives a little bit better contact. Anytime you're on a hard surface, and because you're pushing into a hard surface, you're never going to get the best contact you can for your stamp and your paper. So give it a little, put it on a gush and let it go. Okay, so there's my first stamp. Now I'm stamping with Memento ink. Memento ink is a dye-based ink. That means it doesn't dry as fast as a chalk-based ink, but it dries faster than a pigment-based ink. So if you know your ABCs, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, then you know how to choose the right ink for what you're working with. If you know your ABCs, then you know your C, D, Ps. Chalk, dye, pigment. Those are the three inks that are most commonly used in crafting. Chalk ink, dye ink, pigment ink. Now there's also permanent ink and that's like a stays on. That's like a Sharpie marker. So let's talk chalk ink first. Chalk ink is C. It's very close to the letter A. Very, very close to the letter A. So A being the first letter in the alphabet, C being very close to that, if you're working with a chalk ink, it's going to dry pretty darn quick. Dries fast. Done. Now, Memento is a dye-based ink, and C and D are right next to each other. That means a dye-based ink is going to dry almost as fast as a chalk-based ink almost as fast. Then you have a pigment ink. Now, C and D are very close to each other, but D to P, oh, there's a whole lot of alphabet in between there. <laughs> and what that tells you is that a pigment-based ink, and it will say pigment ink on it, will take the longest time to dry. That's because you, most people will use it with an embossing powder. So if I had a pigment-based ink and I, I stamped on this, and I wanted to put clear embossing powder down on it and heat it, a pigment-based ink is what you're going to need. You can't do embossing powder over the top of a chalk or a dye-based ink. They dry too fast. They're too close to the beginning of the alphabet. So if you know your ABCs, you know your CDPs, chalk, dye, pigment. Chalk dries the, I never can figure out how to put my fingers. Chalk, chalk dries the fastest dye ink, which is the most common ink for your everyday stamping. Dye-based ink is what you really want to use. So chalk-based ink dries the fastest, then there's dye-based ink that dries almost as fast, and you can't use either of those with embossing powder. And then you have pigment-based ink, which is way down the alphabet, and that means it takes a whole lot longer to dry. Chalk, dye, pigment. When you're out shopping, and you just want to stamp, that's all you want to do, and you pick up an ink and it says pigment based, you can still stamp with that ink. Just know that if you, if you touch it too soon, it will smear. It will smear. A dye based ink won't do that because it's absorbing into the paper much faster. A pigment based ink needs to stay on top of the paper so you can throw your embossing powder down and heat it. So Memento is a dye-based ink. And there's lots of great dye-based inks out there. Memento isn't the only one. However, Memento is the one that you can use with Copic markers without it smearing, and you can add water to it. We're gonna use some water, and it's not going to take the ink and make it move. That's why we like Memento for our everyday go-to ink. All right, and it comes in like 36 colors, and they have markers and they have little small sizes. If you've watched me on YouTube, you know that this is what we use. And the reason why we use it is because it really is an all-purpose ink and everybody can be successful with it.
Now, I've got my stamped image here. And I suppose I want to color it. It's still upside down. You know what? I'm just going to trim it out. This is going to drive me crazy. There. There's one. And there's two. Now I don't have to worry about is it upside down? Is it right side up? Ha ha. Success. <laughs> Gosh, and then I could take one of my dies, my must-haves rectangles. and Okay, so I've got my ink here. I've stamped now. And yes, there's a lot of coloring to be done on these. There's no question about it. There's a lot of coloring that you're going to do. But let's make it easy. Let's simplify the coloring. And the first way I want to do that, I want to take and I want to do a color wash along the entire stamp. I'm going to do a color wash because I want to get rid of some of well, I want to get rid of all the white. That way, when I do color it, if I happen to miss a little spot here or there, or I don't want to color the whole thing, it's not just stamped on white paper. So I'm going to take, and I need you to have either a Memento ink, a Tim Holtz ink, a clean color ink, what ink do you have? And it doesn't have to be a marker. It can be a pad. What blue ink pad do you already own? Do you have Tim Holtz Distress? Do you have Memento? Do you have clean color pens? Do you have Lawn Fawn ink? Do you have Stampin' Up ink? Whose ink do you already own? That's what you're going to play with. And we're going to take it and I'm going to take a flat paintbrush does not have to be an expensive paintbrush because you're just doing a wash, a flat paintbrush. I'm on my non-slip, non-stick craft mat. You can see it's not moving. That's because this is a simply defined craft mat. It's non-stick on the top and it's heat resistant. And then on the back, it has a silicone base. So when you're working, your craft mat doesn't go everywhere. I'm thankfully so far still the only one making this. <laughs> And I made it out of necessity because I was tired of my craft mat shifting when I was like inking or whatever. So this is a Simply Refined craft mat. I'm going to take my clean color and I'm just going to put it right onto my craft mat. And we're going to do something called palette painting. I'm going to add, I've got a Chipotle. <laughs> yes, we bought lunch, don't worry. A Chipotle water cup. And I'm just going to mix my, my water with my ink that I got from my marker. Just put it straight down and mix some water. Now the more water you add, the lighter the color is going to be. And I'm going to just do a wash right over the top of my, right over the top. And all I'm doing is changing it from white to a very soft shade of blue. If I want a little bit more blue, so that's where I'm at. All I've done is take it from white to a very soft shade of blue. And because these are larger stamps and they are scenery, you want that blue for your sky anyway. You don't want to go in there and color all of that. But if I want it a little bit darker, I add a little bit more blue. And I can go back in and make it a little darker. It's really up to you. You have options. It's how much ink do you want to use. I can make it really dark on top and lighter on the bottom. I just want to add some of the color in there. I just want to add some color. So that way if I don't feel like coloring the entire stamped image, it still has some color on it. It's not that stark white. But what if you don't have a clean color marker? Okay. What if you have a memento marker? No problem. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. And if I didn't have a memento marker and I had a memento ink pad, I would just ink it up. I would just put my ink, stamp my ink right onto my craft mat. Same thing, add some water. How much water you add will determine how much blue it is and I'm just going to do a wash. Okay. 
and I'm going to go over the entire image. Over the entire image. Do you want it lighter than that? Then add more water. And it will be, I could add more water. And instead of being as dark as it is, now it's really light. It's really up to you. And remember, you're just talking about paper. So you don't have a memento marker and you don't have a clean color marker, but you do have a Tim Holtz marker. Well, by George, look at here. Let's cut another one. So are you getting the idea that you don't have to worry about what you own? The idea is to put it on the craft mat, the non-stick craft mat, and then add your water to it, your palette painting. And you can do that with just about any ink. Again, I just want that nice blue in the back. Just a nice little wash. I'm just trying to get rid of that red. Or the red, <laughs> but the white. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so I've done it with clean color. I've done it with Memento, I've done it with Tim Holtz. What do you own? Now you can't go back and forth and back and forth unless you're working on watercolor paper because eventually that water will start to eat away at the paper. That's why it's called a wash. You just kind of get in there, get it down, and move on. You're not going to sit there and spend all day trying to, you just want to get it down there so that at least your background is colored. But you may be saying, well, Stacy, <laughs> I don't want my bird to be blue and my flowers to be blue and, and my butterfly to be blue. That's okay. Because then you're gonna take your markers and because the wash is so light, you're gonna go in and you can color right over the top and you're never even going to see the blue. I can come in with my clean color which have a beautiful transparency to them. They have a fabulous tip to them. Their tip is not a typical foam tip. It actually is a brush, brush bristle tip. I don't know if I can get that in the camera. It is a brush bristle tip, which is unique to it. And it lets you get into the detail just beautifully. And you can just go in and color. And yes, is my paper still a little wet? Yep, not a problem. With the clean color, they work with water. They're meant to work with water. So I can just go in there and color. Now because I've done, that's gonna bother me, well. <laughs> because, because I have done the blue, I don't necessarily have to color every leaf in the stem. I don't have to color every leaf in the stem. Now let's say I do my flowers. Let's play with the flowers a little bit. And maybe I grab, maybe I grab my blue and I don't need to, I just need to stay on the out inside the outside lines. I, I can go right over the top of the stamped lines because again, clean color are transparent. So now I've created a blue flower. But let's do let's do this one blue here. And because the markers are transparent, you're not sitting there worrying about going outside of any line. The only line you have to worry about is the outside edge of the item that you are the image that you're coloring. So I've got another blue flower there. And Let's see, maybe a, a super light green flower, why not? Flowers can be any color, right? Now I've got a green flower 
But wait, now I'm gonna take my green and I am going to come in and see how I've colored that little piece in there green? But these are clean color and they're meant to work together. So now I'm gonna take that green and I'm gonna color right on top of my blue. Take my green and color right on top of my blue. And then maybe a little bit of yellow right down here. And now I'm starting to blend and I haven't used any water at all. If I wanna make sure that there's no demarcation line, can you see there might be a little bit of line between the green and the blue? All I do is take my blue, come right back in over the top and just blend them away. They all just blend away right into each other. And you have started to blend without using any water at all. Let's play with the yellow on that green. So I've got a green flower here. And I'm gonna take my yellow. See a little bit of demarcation line there? Take my green again and just go right into that yellow. And then we can put a little blue center. And I have started to blend without, without much of anything. I haven't used any bit of water at all. Easy peasy. If I wanna take the yellow and do the yellow into the blue, Grab a little bit of my blue. Get rid of that cute, that demarcation line. And the colors will bleed right out into each other. Can you see how this one's now bled right into each other? No demarcation line. Can you see how the colors just, they just bleed right into each other and that's what they're meant to do. And look, Nothing on the back, they didn't seep all the way through. And yes, it was wet, absolutely. They're just, it's lovely, it's easy. Easy to color, easy to add that dimension without having to do too much work. And because you've done the whole thing blue on the background, you've already colored most of it. You've already given yourself a head start. Now it's up to you to decide what you wanna go in and color. You don't have to color every little bit and piece if you don't want to. This is yours. You can go in there and color your berries. But do you have to color each and every item? No. Sometimes leaving some of it a little negative, meaning uncolored, is even better. But if you're sitting in front of the TV watching NCIS, or I've just started watching The Designated Survivor, Mary Lynn and Elena were raving about The Designated Survivor. So I was sick one day. I was sick one day. I took a Sunday off <laughs> and I sat home and I binge watched Designated Survivor. So if you're sitting there just in front of the TV, this is an awesome way to just relax and decompress. And you start with just a very, very, very simple color wash just to add the sky. And then, I mean, I can go in and I could do the outside of my butterfly. It's up to me if I wanna do the inside of my butterfly, but let's get my outside done. And kids, kids would have a great time coloring. 
I love how the flowers turned out. I'm really, really happy with those folks. <laughs> you never know when you're doing, you know, when you're doing a YouTube that's unedited. If you're choosing the right colors, you're never exactly 100% positive. I suppose I could do a little bit of red on this one. Just put a little bit of red around the outside of my flower. A little bit of red. Don't want too much red. A little bit of red. So all I drew was a little bit of red around there. And then I'm going to grab my yellow because frankly yellow is my go-to color. And I'm going to pull that red down and blend away. I'm just going to pull that red right down. And I'm going to let the ink do what the ink does. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. Add some little striations coming down. Take my yellow one more time right over the top. And blend it on into each other. Love my flowers. <laughs> oh, and then I guess we could put the solid yellow in the center. And then maybe a really bold red in the middle. Easy to do, lots of fun. So these are clean color, and this is a good way to play. If you have other markers, try them. Remember, you're only paying $12.99 for all of the stamps. Try what you have to see. You're talking about paper and a stamp pad. That's what you're talking about. The stamps, paper, and a stamp pad. Try what you have to see if you get the results that you are happy with. If you love the clean color, I love the clean color, but, um, but I'd rather see you get the stamps before you get the clean color because the stamps are only on sale for so long at that kind of a price. So I'd rather see you do that. So this is clean color doing a wash on the back. And again, we did a wash with, with Tim Holtz Distress, we did a wash with Clean Color, we did a wash with Memento. It's just to add a little bit of color to the back so you're not sitting there trying to color the whole back blue. And the colors go right on top of the wash. You don't have to worry about them being muted or um, not the same color once you put it down because of that blue. Don't worry about it. It's so it's so concentrated with water that you're going to be able to color right over the top of it. Okay, let's move on. The next thing I want to show you is what not to do. This is kind of important. I talk about I talk about stamping and not pushing down too hard. I want to show you what happens when you do push down too hard. So I've grabbed the stamp that we used for the make and take today. So I'm grabbing the flower stamp that we used for the make and take today. And I've got it on my block. It's the smaller size that comes in the set. I've got my memento ink. I'm going to ink it up. Now when you ink up a stamp, you don't have to go like... You, Okay, you've got so much ink on there, you've got more ink than you could ever possibly need. Trust me, you, it'll stamp fine, but, but you used more than you need. Now, I'm on my gush pad. I'm going to go one, two, three, A, B, C, nice push, nice, um, not too much pressure, and up. I didn't get my center, so I'm going to flip it over. Let's try again. 
A, B, C, one, two, three. I'm gonna make sure I get that center this time. A, B, C, one, two, three, and push it up. Oh, there we go, happy day, beautiful. Now, I certainly would not throw this away just because this is done. I just turn my paper over and stamp again because when you tape it down to whatever you're going to tape it down to, nobody is ever going to see that you didn't get your center. So this is a lovely stamped image. Beautiful, perfect, couldn't ask for anything better. Easy peasy. Now I wanna show you what happens when you press too hard. Clear stamps are a little different than a rubber stamp or a cling stamp. Clear stamps have more of a give than a rubber stamp. And most cling stamps, they used to be on wood mount, now they're just cling, are, are made out of rubber. You can tell a clear stamp is a clear stamp because, well, you can see through it. <laughs> so I'm gonna give this a press. And I'm gonna press really hard, which is what I see a lot of people doing in the make and take. They press so hard. What happens when you press that hard is you're pushing the stamp out and you're going to make it have blurry lines. So you've got a fatter line on the top. I've got a beautiful example. Oh, did I throw away my beautiful example? Well, let's turn it over and do it one more time. The harder you press, there, I pressed really hard on the top. Can you see that? If that is happening to you, that's because you're pressing too hard on the stamp. If you are doing this, what you just, what you think you should be doing, okay, Stacy said to hold it this way and ink it up, and I did that, and I didn't sit there for, I didn't do this, I just inked it up, got it ink, I can see the ink on it, I brought my paper over, I've got my gush mat, I'm gonna stamp, I'm pressing, one, two, three, A, B, C, but I gave a really hard pressure. Can you see how the lines expanded out from our oh-so-perfect stamp? Can you see the difference? Now, that may not bother you at all. You may be just very happy with that and you may just continue on. And I would too, quite frankly. It's not gonna cause a problem with the stamped image. However, when you have something that's very detailed and you push too hard and you're not getting the definition that you want from the stamp, the little details that you loved so much about the stamp are now just a kind of a blurred mess it's because you're stamping too hard. Give the stamp a one, two, three, A, B, C, and, and move on. Remember, it's paper. So if you don't wanna use your good paper, oh my gosh, go grab some inexpensive paper. Go grab some cardstock that in a color that you thought you were gonna use and you're never gonna use again. Go grab copy paper, go grab something and just play. Just play with the pressure to learn the pressure that it needs. Just play and you'll see, you'll get better and better and better and better the more you do because you'll understand what's too hard. You will understand that. Now, I have these over here. I'm gonna cut, I think I'm just gonna do these right here. So we have, um, we have people who ask about Copic markers and we do sell Copic markers at $5.25 a Copic for your sketch marker, which is a great value because they usually are $7.99. But Copic markers can be an investment. There's no question about that. And there is a learning curve to them. And, and a lot of times we have customers who just want to do that beautiful little wash. Have you seen the cards? that they've done that just has a beautiful little blue wash around the side of it. Or if it's maybe a rainy card with an umbrella, it's got a little bit of a gray wash around it just to add a little dimension. You're going to do that without having to use a Copic marker. And you're going to do it the same way we did our background. You're going to just use the ink that you have. You're gonna scribble on your craft mat you're gonna add some water to it. And depending on how dark you want your wash to be, you're just gonna take and come around. Now I start about an eighth of an inch away from my, my stamped image. And 
and I'm just putting a little bit of a wash around it. But maybe you don't want it to be so stark. Add more water and blend it out. You can add more water and blend it out. Maybe you want your wash to be really light. Just add more water to your blue. And you can go in there and your wash will be really, really light. I know people do those most beautiful Copic cards and they always have that little fade. It's like a little blue fade. And you can have that too. You just have to know how to get it. Blue fade. Darker, lighter, it's what makes your heart happy. And again, it, what marker do you have? Or what ink do you have? Doesn't have to be a marker. A little bit of water. Yeah, a little close there, but that's okay. And you can just fade it, fade it right out. We get that question a lot. How do I do that without using a Copic marker? It's diluting your water or your ink. It's diluting your ink with water to get that look. And then you can go in and color. Now you could do the same thing here. Let's say you don't want to be so careful. I could go in and kind of fade or wash the whole thing. Let's say I don't want to be so careful. I just want to get it, get it done. It's where I've got that blue fade all the way around it and I've gone all the way over my stamp. Well, you saw with the clean color, not a problem, easy to do. I also really like the Kaiser Craft gel pens. They make a beautiful gel pen. This was the first set that they came out with. We now have um, the 24 pack, we have a 48 pack, we have singles of 12s. This one happens to have the pastels and the glitters. They have metallics now. They have neons now. Um, beautiful, beautiful gel pens. But I can go in with my gel pen. And even though I put the fade right over the top of it, put it right over the top of my, of my stamp, the gel pen's going to do the same thing. It's going to work just like your clean color. You can go in there and you can color right over the top. Now, gel pens are a little bit special. They need a very light touch. It's almost like you're barely touching the paper. You don't want to press down too hard. You need that gel to flow. And if you press down too hard, you're going to impede that. So it's just a very happy, nice, light, easy flow. Think marshmallows, think, think, um, oh, clouds, think whipped cream, think how light and airy that is. Think, well, a down pillow is heavy, <laughs> but they feel good when you lay on them. <laughs> but just think light and airy. The less pressure you put on your gel pins, the better off you will be. And gel pins are so inexpensive. They're just wonderful, which means that if you're working with kids, make sure that they don't press down too hard, but gel pens is a great way for them to color. Also coloring, you know, colored pencils. Even if you get the ones from Walmart, the Crayola ones, back to school sale, they have them on sale all the time for a buck. Because kids can do this and there's no money left for arts anymore in education. 
So teachers are left trying to figure it out on their own and try to manage it in the budget that they have. Well, getting eight stamp sets for $12.99 lets a teacher have some fun. Let's your kids have some arts and crafts. Gel pens, and this is a glittery one. Can you see the shine and the shimmer of the glitter? And you can just go through and you can just color. And again, the lighter you are, the better it works. The harder you press, the more difficulty you are going to have. So pretty. And then you would take an oval or a square and you would you would cut that out or you can do take your trimmer and cut that out. But with that blue wash, it just takes away the starkness of the white. It just takes away, it gives it a little dimension that it didn't have when it was just plain white. You know, it gives it a little dimension. And it doesn't require a Copic marker to make that happen. It requires a paintbrush, I like a flat tip. I don't like the pointy tips when I'm doing washes and when I'm adding, when I'm going around. I like a flat tip and whatever ink you have. Take that ink pad, put it on your, just ink up your craft mat, add some water, get some paper and play. See what kind of colors it has. If you wanted a gray wash, you could do a gray wash around it. If you wanted a pink wash, you could do a pink wash. It's up to you. But you don't have to be a pro at coloring or stamping and you don't have to have a Copic marker to get that beautiful wash look that they have that gives that dimension. And yes, the clean color and the gel pins right over the top. Without any problem whatsoever. You're sitting there doing your watching your TV and just have fun. So what did we talk about today? We talked about the gel pins being an easy way to color. Pretty, accessible, anybody can do it. We talked about how to use a, a wash as your background so that when you start, you're not starting everything on a stark white. You've got some color there and you can make it as light or as dark as you want the wash, but it takes away that, that starkness of the white if you're trying to get a, a, a little warmer, um, a little bit warmer stamped image when you're all done, when you're all done coloring. And who wants to really go in there and try and color all of the background blue for the sky? No, much easier. And, and it doesn't matter what pen you use, you're just gonna wash it right on. You can't go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth because again, it is paper. If you're using watercolor paper, yes, you can go back and forth and back and forth and, and you'll have no problem. We talked about clean color pens, which just blend beautifully, they're easy to use. But if you don't have clean color, try what you do have. I mean, if you love them, if you saw them and you say, oh, I must have those, I'm not gonna stop you. But if you have markers or colored pencils to play with. Buy the stamps first because we won't have these past this YouTube yummy sale. Spend your $12.99 on the stamps and get your free ribbon. Then at a later date, if you wanna buy the clean color because what you have isn't giving you the results you want, okay, there'll always be another YouTube yummy sale, I promise you. All right, we talked about the blocks from Do Crafts. They're pretty rock star and pretty wonderful. And the CDPs of ink, chalk dye pigment. Chalk dye pigment, ABC, CDP. Chalk dries the fastest, chalk ink, dye ink based ink dries almost as fast. Pigment based ink, oh, from a D to a P in the alphabet, long way away. That means it takes much longer to dry. So. Chalk, a CDP, chalk dye pigment, and then of course there's also another P, permanent, which would be like a stays on or an archival. And when you think permanent, think Sharpie marker. All right, I don't have too many 
too many samples to show you because we were so worried about getting everything ready for National Scrapbooking Day for everybody that we kind of fell behind. But there's the one that we did. That's the make and take today. I've got a few of those. I can show you some of those. So cute. Just done with the stamp set. I love the purple. Love the purple. Get this out of the way. There we go. Oh, the red's still in the way. Okay, so the purple. And oh, here's the two tone. And then Yvette did this one with gelatos. We just used gelatos to color the whole thing. Gelatos. And then she started on all of these lovelies. So Yvette started all of these lovelies. That's all done with gel pins. So she started. Look at how cute is that. She's got all of these started. I'll make her finish. <laughs> In a week that there is no YouTube, <laughs> when I'm traveling somewhere and we have to skip a week, I think I'll give her these back and say, oh, could you finish these please? <laughs> so she did, she had all of these started. So cute. And then she was able to, oh, here's the pink one. She did one, she got one done with the self-adhesive ribbon for Claire, because Claire's and she loves her doggies. Self-adhesive ribbon, we didn't have to put any Stacy tape or glue behind it, it all self-adhesive. Okay, so I'm gonna tilt up. And I'm gonna say, all right, you guys, it's me, Stacy, scrapbooking made simple. Now, if you like the stamps for the $12.99, I can't get this right for the life of me. If you like the stamps for the $12.99, go get them now. Buy one, get seven free, and get the bonus ribbon. If you need gifts for people coming up for Christmas, you wanna get your Christmas shopping done early, this is an awesome gift. If you have never stamped before, this is the time to take the chance because at this price, you will never see a deal like this again. You are saving well over a hundred dollars. It's crazy, but we have Hampton Arts to thank for that. So scrapbookingmadesimple.com is where you're going to find it. Um, it will be on YouTube Yummy all this week until we are sold out. If you are an in-store peep, please don't order online. Please just call the store. We have plenty for you. Please just call the store. We'll hold it. We'll we'll hold it for you. You don't have to order online, even if you can't get to the store for a month. Don't worry. Call. We'll we'll or, we'll we'll take your order. We'll pull the product for you. We'll put it away from you and we'll put it away. And when we see you, you'll come in and pick it up. I think that's it. ScrapbookingMadeSimple.com. I hope you had a good time today. I can't wait to show you next week. Next week is something super special that I got early because you asked for it early. You all said, could you get this sooner this year than last year? And we did. So I will see you next week for YouTube number 203. And for now, have a happy Saturday and happy Mother's Day to everybody. Bye.